Good afternoon and welcome to this FinGraphs podcast on Dukascopy TV. Today we're going to talk about cryptocurrencies considering the drop-off that we're currently seeing. We will first start with a mosaic, a mosaic which includes Bitcoin, Ethereum, the ratio of Ethereum versus Bitcoin, on both a daily and an hourly basis. We'll also look at the daily graphs of the ratios of Ripple versus Ethereum and of Litecoin versus Ethereum. What we can see is that uh, both Bitcoin and Ethereum on a daily basis have been correcting quite strongly over the last few weeks, uh, and that on the hourly graphs, the sell-off doesn't seem quite over yet. We could also see that Ethereum, which uh, had outperformed Bitcoin quite massively during April is now also correcting and that for now we don't believe that the ratio is oversold yet. Also looking at the alts and this is also interesting we can see the strong rally even versus Ethereum here in April and we believe that they are in a resumed downtrend and so that they have further to go to the downside over the next few weeks. So the whole space seems to tell us that we are within a correction uh, that the high betas are correcting uh, versus the more uh, defensive coins and that this correction is not over yet and we believe it could probably extend uh, into, into the second week of June, perhaps even late June. Let's look at it in more detail. So first of all, with Bitcoin, uh, the weekly graph uh, is still uptrending, but uh, was in the strongest exaggeration here on our envelopes. So the correction does seem to come off an, of a very strong exaggeration. As we can see the daily here, uh, we can see that our risk index did top out earlier this spring and that then price made a new high. So some kind of a divergence here and that envelopes touch each other several times times and in sort of a rounding top and now this sell-off that we have been seeing over the last two weeks. In terms of targets, our impulsive targets to the downside are giving us targets between 27,000 and perhaps 16,000. So we probably won't be as aggressive as 16,000 but are targeting 27,000 over the next few weeks. Looking at the early graph, the targets are pretty much reached and we do see a little bit of a rebound at the moment. But we're wondering if this is not an ABC, the C may not be finished so we might see a bit more bounce here. But in general, we're still in a downtrend and our risk index is slightly oversold but it's not a very much a very extreme oversold condition yet so here also we believe that the sell-off is not over yet Looking at Ethereum, uh, first at the daily graph, we wanted to look at this weekly here and we can see the very strong exaggeration that we had uh, a couple of weeks ago with a uh, price above our smaller envelopes, our smaller envelopes well above our larger envelopes. So a very strong exaggeration here, which triggered this very strong sell-off. We came into the envelopes again, so hence the rebound that we're currently see seeing. The risk index was also uh, uh, overbought. Usually you have yeah, initially perhaps uh, a month, a month and a half of correction and possibly two to three months of correction on such a situation. So we've probably found support here under the envelopes with bouncing. As long as we don't make it back above 3,000 or 3,065 here, we would still be in a downtrend. And so we believe that the correction is probably not over yet and we should probably see another leg down into June. Looking at the hourly, uh, we can see that yes, the risk index is quite oversold, but the trend is heading down. There's still some downside potential back to 2000 possibly down to 1300 our targets are pretty much consensus targets are pretty much around 1500 as a possible base here yes we're oversold but we're not widely oversold yet and it hasn't turned yet so we're still in a downtrend and after a very nice five waves down here this does look like an abc so there's in our view a further leg down to go possibly into the second week of june at worst towards late june thereafter and along with many risk assets, we do believe that cryptos should start stabilizing in early summer and then gradually resume their uptrend and potentially finish up to new highs towards the end of the year. Thank you very much for your attention and welcome back.